Welcome! I'm Joelle. And I'm Joseph, and we're just a regular couple doing regular things. And today is New Year's Day of 2021, boy! <laughs> so, I thought it'd be fun. I remember I recorded a video last year that I was going to post on YouTube of my New Year's resolutions. So, at this point, um, for 2020, I was about six months into living in Florida and my life was still kind of like, you know, all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, so I still didn't have that many friends at that time, which is kind of crazy that I spent like six months not really hanging out with people, people like that. Hmm? There's a few. And that was only like occasionally. Yeah. So I still really wasn't doing a whole lot by January 1st of 2020. And then um, I was just like really unhappy with my job and it was like it just came off of the busiest season for my job so I was like burnt out and so mm -hmm. like oh you know so I filmed this video I wrote down my resolutions filmed this video turns out it's so long it's 21 yeah. minutes <laughs> long and I uploaded How many resolutions it, did you have? A, a million clearly wow. so um, I filmed this video like I got dressed I did all this stuff I filmed it and I ended up uploading it to YouTube and never posting it and I don't really know why. Was it just because it was too late? Like you uploaded it on the 5th of January? Maybe I thought it was too late. Maybe I didn't like the quality. Maybe I didn't like my hair. We'll see. Hello. So it's January 2nd. It's fairly early in the morning. But you know, I thought I would get up and film this or else I never will. And I do want this for my memories because I just have a feeling that 2020 is just going to be a great year. It's going to be, gonna be such a great year. <laughs> That's cap. Yikes! Ooh. Oh! So I have five New Year's resolutions. This is gonna be a really big year for me for a lot of reasons that I'm not really gonna discuss right now, but it's gonna be a really big year and it's gonna be a really big saving year ish. Saving. Oh, I didn't wanna say it because I was still employed. Yeah, just in case. Oh, so. <laughs> That's so funny. So I said it was going to be a really big year because I planned, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it at this point, yeah. but I planned a three month trip to Europe. And so I was planning, I, I started planning October 2019 that I was going to quit my job in June. June. And then I was going to be in Europe from June to September. Like that was my plan for so long. And so this is January. And I was like, just in case anyone from my job sees this video, <laughs> I'm not going to say that I'm quitting my job in June so they don't know. But that's so funny, especially because I never ended up posting it. Right. Yeah. My first New Year's resolution is like my big daddy, super like... Your what? The theme of the year, <laughs> basically. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I don't know why I did. My first New Year's resolution is like my big daddy, super like, <laughs> this is the theme of the year. Stop! My big daddy. <laughs> I never thought of it. So just so you know, your, your biggest your biggest resolution, the one that you want to accomplish the most, is actually your big daddy. That's rough. I want to work for myself in some capacity, some way, some how i did it i'm going to own my own business i did it oh my big new year's resolution for 2020 was to own my own business and i do it hasn't launched yet <laughs> um if this is your first video that you're watching of us i'm launching a online clothing business called joe park clothing it's launching in january it's launching this month whoa a few, a few weeks oh my god it's launching in a few weeks so the actual launch date is TBA, um, just in case. I want to give myself some wiggle room in case something happens, but I have a potential launch date in mind and it's in a few weeks. Let's go. So Resolution one. Completed. Yeah, by the time January happened of last year, I knew I wanted to own a business, but I didn't know what it would be. Yeah. So that's kind of crazy that this is what it is. For real. Wow. At the end of the day, I don't like answering to anybody. I don't like 
people checking for me. I don't like any of that. Like, and I just, and the older I get, the more I realized how much I want to be in business for myself. And I'll still have a full-time job for a while, I'm assuming. <laughs> Cause you know, girl's 22. <laughs> She still needs it. So, um, fun fact, I don't have a full-time <laughs> job right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, that was incorrect. Of course, a business plan is a living document. Like, things change all the time as you go through the process. Um, and things <laughs> I know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how much I wasn't actually talking to human beings like at the time like just the way Any document I'm like myself <laughs> <laughs> I Spent so much time by myself for the oh. first I know this is don't hold my knees Stop. You're giving your knee. but Yeah, so for the first six months of living in Florida, I spent so much time by myself like most okay. of the time like my job was super solo i lived by myself for the first time ever i didn't have a ton of friends at the time so like i did so much by myself and so i guess like i had so much time to think i had a lot of like revelations and a lot of thoughts during this time and like you can kind of see it even in the way that i'm like phrasing my goals <laughs> and things it's like you could tell that it had a lot of time to like mull over in my mind <laughs> it's really funny <laughs> That is my first New Year's resolution, is that I will work for myself. I will go into my own business. And I have some ideas. Or I have... <laughs> you have better I'm, winking. Yeah, I'm like a year. notoriously bad winker. And um, Joseph makes fun of me. That's you. It's just, just a blink. <laughs> and your mouth opens so wide or whatever. You, like, can, you blink, can you do a wink without opening your mouth? Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was like a struggle. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my first New Year's resolution. My second one is to bring down my screen time on my phone. So you know, I have done that. I don't know about any other type of phone. Like, yeah, we all know that Instagram is a highlight reel, but sometimes it really doesn't feel like that. Sometimes it feels like, oh my God, why have I not been hanging out with anybody for the past six days and why have all my other friends been with their other friends and you know that's just not the negativity that you need or it's not the negativity that i need so i'm reeling that in so number three is less negative self-talk like a lot of times i will say to myself like oh this person got this because they're more qualified than me or i am just not skilled enough to do this thing or it's just not my time in life to do this thing there are little things that i say to myself and i know other people might say to themselves that are just little put downs and you don't even really mean it like you think you're being realistic you think you're being humble you think you're just being down to earth and that's really not true like i'm not I've never been really big into manifestation and saying like, this is gonna happen simply because I say it is and because I think I deserve it. I've never really big, been like big into that, but I would like to be. I would like to be more into the idea of manifestation and the world is yours. And the world is your plot twist. I'm actually more against the idea of manifestation <laughs> <laughs> now than I was at the time. Um, yeah. I don't think that you're against I I don't like the term manifesting, yeah. like or manifestation. I believe that like circumstances happen and circumstances come together mixed with intention that you set out and that's how something happens. Or sometimes you just get lucky with what happens. But I don't believe like you believing that you deserve something means that you're gonna get it. Personally. You know? Yeah. I think it's a mix. Uh, like, I think obviously your mindset has a lot to do with whether you will get opportunities or you will get this thing that you want. Because if you just think to yourself, I'm never gonna have this, what's the point? Then obviously you're never gonna see when an opportunity comes up for mm -hmm. you to have it because you're not even gonna be in that mindset. But I believe it's not just your mindset that matters. It's also so many other outside factors that have to do with that mixed with actually putting an effort to get what you want in the end. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I think I've done less. And just being no doubt. Positive. 
in general. The world's not ending, it is quite literally, but my world's not ending. Like things will be okay. <laughs> What did you know? Right! What did you know about? Did I like predict that this pandemic was gonna happen? Like things will be okay. <laughs> the general world's ending. <laughs> but my okay. world, I'm fine. <laughs> so. I wonder what you, what you were talking about. Probably global warming. Global warming. <laughs> <laughs> number four, which kind of leads into the second part of this video, but number four is less impulse shopping. So I- impulse. I've. I've done that. No doubt, yeah. Oh my God, no 100%. doubt. I'd say my, so the second half of this video, which we probably won't watch like in this video, um, is when I was saving for my trip to Europe and I put myself on such a strict budget. Like I was like, I'm not buying anything that I don't have to buy, like period, that's it. Yeah. So oh, pretty much, pretty much. I like allowed myself a few luxuries here and there, but mm. I was like, no. That's it. I got very minimalist during this time. And I had an issue up until that point of like impulse shopping, especially for clothes and stuff. Yeah. I would just randomly like, cause you know when you do like your little window shopping, like pretty little thing or something, you'll put a bunch of stuff in your cart and then you'll just exit out of the tab entirely. Cause you're like, what was I even doing? I wasn't doing that. I was like putting stuff in the cart, narrowing down the cart, you know, as you do. But then I actually purchased it in the end for so many things all the time and so much of my money was just going. And Starbucks, yeah. because I live down the street from a Starbucks, like literally down the street. So yeah, yeah that got me too a lot of the time. So yeah, your impulse shopping was a lot, a lot better. And it still is. You still have like yeah. special moments now you're not saving as intensely. Yeah. But yeah, I still have my moments. But even in my better. impulse shopping, it's like, I'll at least throw something practical in there with my impractical stuff and it won't be too many impractical things. Yeah. I used to buy so much impractical stuff. Yeah, like, like one wear. Like things. one wear things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Literally Boots all the time. Never wear. At never. Heels, yeah, heels that I'd never, never wear. Because your feet are all jacked. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I would just be like, these are just so cute. And I used to do it all the time. So I've definitely stopped that a lot. So like no. now when I buy clothes and stuff, it's like, okay, what situations can I see myself wearing this in? And I actually send stuff back now if I don't like it. I never used to send stuff back because it used to just be a hassle, but I do that now. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. I am a firm, firm believer in retail therapy. And, I, and I'm really not in the wear. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. You're like... Now, now you're into milkshake therapy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's so my that impulse day, shopping. <laughs> I've had so many milkshakes this year. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why I don't look like that anymore. <laughs> oh. You're really great. I'm about to rip that my shakes. Number five is to be more dedicated to YouTube. And I have alright, to be fair, we did get more dedicated. More dedicated for sure. We got more dedicated yeah. than no I was. No doubt. Are we dedicated? Who's to say? Who's to say? Who's to say? <laughs> But more dedicated, sure. yes. No doubt. And a big part of being more dedicated to YouTube, I think, came from bringing Joseph to the channel. Because it's kind of like in our free time, we want to spend time together and making videos together makes it a lot easier. And then mm. you coming to live with me in Florida yeah. made it kind of so that like you were just always there like during the videos. Because at right. this point, we didn't live together. We were long distance. Yeah. So when we did move together, I just wanted you to be in all the videos with me. So then I was like, we might as well like make this Joelle and Joseph at this point because you're in almost all the videos. Yeah. So. Shoddy. Yeah. And it was kind of like taking it from Joelle Simone to Joelle and Joseph kind of took it from being like a, a like a topic specific YouTube channel where it was like I would do different videos mm -hmm. on different things. And now it's more of just like a general vlogging. Us us living our lives type of thing, which I think I like more, actually. Yeah, I think you really did all yours. Yeah. You killed this. And I didn't even remember what they were. Like, by yeah. now, I had no idea what I said. And I Good job. really stuck to them. Let's go. My New Year's resolution, I think, last year was to shave off my head. Um, not my head, my hair. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jing. <laughs> okay, so that was it for reacting to my 2020 New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. Please, 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 please like the video if you enjoyed this kind of content. We have us making our new New Year's resolutions for 2021 coming up next. So stay tuned for that. Comment. Anything you want to comment about the video? Yeah. What you think our resolutions are going what to be next year? What are yours? What are your New Year's resolutions? Did you stick to yours last year? Who knows? Yeah. Lots we would of love questions. to hear it. <laughs> We'd love to know. We just want to know everything about you. So tell, tell us, us your whole life story. Your name, Social date of birth, Security, <laughs> address. Yeah. Your bank account number. <laughs> You know, what routing I, what, number specifically. Well, we don't need routing. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. You just let us know. <laughs> the account number. The bank teller you use. Yeah. <laughs> Your LinkedIn page. <laughs> don't tell us any of that yeah, information. We, please don't. Yeah, we're just playing. Yeah. <laughs> but if you made it this far in the video, please subscribe. We'd love to see you come back for more. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Bye.